Good afternoon. I'm going to show you in this video how uh, ONTAP TV can integrate with um, PVR clients uh, for live TV and and radio broadcasts. A PVR client is an extra type of add-on you can use in Kodi. They they act as like a conduit between uh, such things as satellite TV receivers, cable TV, uh, or your antenna um which which is then basically if you activate the, the client it, it will then act as a conduit between um the external device like a satellite tv or antenna uh and pass that signal through into Kodi, so that you can then watch live tv uh within the Kodi environment they all there are also PVR clients that uh, link up to IPTV services, i.e., internet TV uh, broadcasts. Uh, so, depending on the PVR client you use, um, you can get a different kind of service coming through into Kodi. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to set up all of these PVR clients because there they're, they're, there's lots of them. And uh, it's just too much to um, to go through, really. Uh, so I'm going to presume that you know how to set up the PVR client specific to what you want to do. Uh, you may already have that set up, or if you don't, um, then I'd just recommend you look up on the internet. There's, there's there's numerous help videos out there showing how various different ones need need setting up. Um, so for now, I'm just going to use my um, my local antenna signal uh, for this demo. I've got a, a WeTech Play box on my on my home network, which has a TV tuner built into it, and I've already set that up um, and linked it to my uh, external antenna, so I can get my over-the-air TV signal um, uh, over my entire home network. So first off, you need to um, basically turn on all of this 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 part of the system. So you, if you go into the system menu first, um, there's obviously where all your settings are. The first place you need to go to is add-ons. In uh, my add-ons, you get the uh, the full list of different add-on types that Kodi can can uh, handle, one of which is PVR clients. So if I go into that menu, <coughs> here's all these clients. As I said, there's, there's, literally, there's tons of them. There's just loads of these different ones. And as I said, other other suppliers also <coughs> may, may, may give you a zip file to install to add into this list. <coughs> uh, but this is where you turn them on and turn them off. By default in Kodi, all of these are disabled um, because they need configuring before you can um, actually use them with the, the service you need to turn on as well. So first off, I'm going to show you how to do that. The one that works for my uh, antenna is a TV head end client. Um, so I'll, I'll quickly show you that. At the moment, it's turned off. First off, I need to go to configure. Now, in this client, all it needs to know is the the local network address of uh, where my where my tuner is, which is that WeTech Play box. That's the internal network address for that box on my network. Uh, these ports are. They were part of the instructions there, the ports that it needs to work. For me, that's all I need to do. Um, now I just stick that address in and enable it. And that's 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 my PVR set PVR client setup. I mean I'll show you some other ones. I mean like these the stalker ones and this IPTV simple client, they're the ones they're 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 typically ones that would use um IPTV services. There's also a HD Home Run there, Home Run client. 
uh, that's another type of box that, that can take over the air signals um, and I, I believe cable and satellite as well. Uh, but as I say, these will all have different settings. If I show you this one and go to configure on that, you can see it's, it's all different uh, to, to the one I was using before. This one, because it's internet, uh, uh, sorry, IPT playlist based, it just needs you to link to it, which would either be on your local network or a remote path, i.e. on the internet. And you have to set that up. But really, I'm going to have to let you work that out because <clears throat> I just haven't got it. This video will go on for days if I went through each one. So anyway, I've enabled my my client that I need. So then I come out of that all the way back to the system settings then on TV in the TV section. I just need to enable it. This turns on the connection to my tuner. So now when I come out of this back in the main home menu, I've now got these two extra menus radio and TV um, now that's it really I mean that for this kind of thing to this point that's fine I mean I, I get an EPG over my air from like through my aerial this EPG is automatically enabled for me um, you know and it's got it's got all the channels that I can get over my antenna uh, you know and I can quite happily just watch TV there if I wanted to it's all well and good let's uh, turn that so you can watch it so that's now so that's now showing me um, that that TV channel via my antenna in Cody but uh, the limitation with this that I found um, is obviously it's only stuff I can get over my aerial or, or whatever device you're using or whatever service. All you'll get in that EPG is, is the channels for that, that particular thing where I wanted to be able to use that as well as the, you know, the hundreds probably of different video add-ons out there that provide live TV as well. So this is why I thought it'd be a good idea to integrate the two into ONTAP TV. So you've got one EPG that, that can link to both. So once all that's set up, you're that up to this stage, that's, that's really the hard part done. Um, with ONTAP, it's... Um, it will automatically sense you've got a PVR client activated and as long as it's all set up correctly, it will literally just connect into it automatically. There's no extra stuff you have to do. So if I open up on tap, uh, just to show you, um, so now this is our EPG as opposed to the, the built-in live TV one. And if I selected a channel, let's try channel four. Um, as usual, like ONTAP will try to look through all your available add-ons, your video add-ons, and if it finds a matching channel, um, like in this example, it's found that I've, I've got film on installed on this machine. so. It's found a link to, to that. But as you can see, it's also found um, these PVR channels. These are what's coming through my antenna. So it also gives me them as a choice. Um, so if I select channel 4 HD from my PVR, there we go. It's because it's random, no. 
Uh, okay, so yeah, that's coming through my PVR. That wasn't coming from a video add-on, but as I said, I can I can also use um, video add-ons in the, in the same way that I do the PVR inside ONTAP. So again, the way you would be used to doing it with any other EPG add-on, same with ONTAP. If I I'm just disconnected a channel, uh, a link to that BBC Two. So now with BBC Two, I've got the BBC iPlayer add-on also offers that as a live TV service. So as well as showing Filmon's offering, I could link to the BBC's streams. Um, they actually have lots of local BBC Two channels as well as the main national one. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I could, if I play that one, that's now using a video add-on. After Wimbledon playing again, and it, this is what David's Cup brings, the, the possibilities that, that are out there. So there you go, really. It just means you can link to both types of live TV that Cody can handle. Um, the other thing is obviously, as I said, there's other channels I can get via video add-ons that might not come over my antenna. Um, like I had a user ask me the other day about US TV Now, which is an American TV service. So clearly I would not be able to get that over my antenna being that I'm in London. But if I, uh, let me just, sorry, uh, just quickly flick to the US TV Now channels that we carry. Um, I've only got a, um, a basic account with US TV Now because I wanted to test out that it worked. So I can't watch any of these channels. But if I go to, let's say NBC, uh, Kelly and Michael live. Uh, let's try that. I've got the US TV Now Plus add-on installed, so it links in with that. Um, it's quite a slow add-on to link, but not a lot I can do about that. Yeah, as usual, American TV channel showing an advert. But there you go. So there's just a quick demo, really, of how both things can link together. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to show you is, um, whoops, because the uh, the PVR client is pulling in channels um, separately, uh, there, there is obviously the there could be an occasion where <clears throat> the channel coming through, uh, like for me on my antenna. It won't match the channel name uh, that we carry in our in our in our lineup. <clears throat> a good example of that I can show is ITV plus one. Now I know for a fact that um, because the channel names don't match, I'm just going to remove the link to that. Um, when I click on that channel the first time, um, you see it's found the plus one channel in film on uh, but in my PVR channels it's only found ITV now I do know there's a plus one channel so that's purely because the channel names don't match but they are still linkable so if I come out of that by pressing back and if I press the C key on my keyboard or if you've got a remote it'd be the menu button and go to choose stream what I've done here, I'm probably going to change this, but for now, this is how it works. Um, I've added the PVR um, links into the favorites tab. So at the moment they show there with the prefix of PVR at the front. So I've not added them manually. They, they will just show there automatically. Um, what I'm going to probably do is add a new tab into this window. So as well as playlist favorites, add-ons, super favorites, and IPT playlists, 
I'll add another a button for PVR just to make it more obvious um, of where these where these channels are coming from. But it works. You don't have to do anything. It just will show up in this list automatically. So someone in here will be ITV plus one. There it is. If I save that, it should start playing. Ah, oh, Jeremy Kyle. Ah, it was an advert, but there you go. So that's it, really. Uh, I hope that um, was clear. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, then you could obviously post under the video or come to our forum, um, and we'll be happily help happily help people out there as well. If you've got any questions or more technical, in-depth problems with setting the PVO up, I'll try and help. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, speak soon.